Hi, welcome to this video where we will be explaining the difference between VR, MR, AR, and hopefully giving you a better idea of the spectrum of virtual reality technology that exists. And right off the bat, we'll be looking at this diagram, which, uh, as you can see, there's light blue shapes on a dark blue background, and this is just supposed to represent real reality. So when you walk outside, you see real objects on a real background. This is what real life quote unquote is. And you can see here in this photo that this is what real life is. It is real objects on real landscapes or in this case in a real room. Virtual reality or VR on the other hand um, is virtual objects on a virtual environment. Let's take a quick look at a VR video game so that you can see what I mean. In this video clip from VR first person shooter game Pavlov, we can see that everything that the user sees is virtual. The gun in the user's hand, the shapes that are sitting on this imaginary landscape, the clouds in the background, everything is being generated by a computer. AR or augmented reality on the other hand is where things start to get a little bit more interesting because this sits on the spectrum in between the two extremes of reality and virtual reality. So augmented reality is where you have virtual objects sitting on top of a physical environment. We can take a look at popular AR video game Pokemon Go to see what I mean. So Pokemon Go is interesting because you can see that there are actually two different modes that you can play the game on. Uh, one in a world where the world is purely virtual and then two you can turn on AR mode and then actually see the Pokemon projected onto whatever your real landscape is in front of you. In this case we can see that the Totodile that this person is trying to catch is projected onto the beach in front of them uh, using their phone's camera. And in this case, from earlier in the video, we can see that the Pokemon is actually just completely inside of a virtual world. And now we can talk a little bit about mixed reality or MR. Mixed reality is similar to augmented reality in that it sits in the spectrum between virtual reality and physical reality. Some people like to think of mixed reality as being augmented reality or AR 2.0, as they both basically consist of virtual objects uh, on top of a physical world. In this promotional screenshot of the Microsoft HoloLens, you can see that a man is interacting with some type of speaker interface on top of his desk. You can imagine in a mixed reality environment that the ties between the virtual objects and the physical world are a little bit closer than in just any old augmented reality. For example, in the Pokemon Go examples that we looked at earlier, when you are catching a Pokemon and it is projected on top of the physical world, you can actually spin around and the Pokemon will follow your screen uh, wherever you go. Or, in other words, there isn't a really close tie between the virtual Pokemon and the physical world. It's not sitting on one exact point in space in the physical world. In mixed reality, the goal seems oftentimes to more closely tie objects and interfaces to the physical objects as they exist in the world. Right now the product being most heavily marketed as a MR product is the Microsoft HoloLens. So if you're interested in learning more about the idea of mixed reality, I suggest you go look up um, some content on YouTube or elsewhere about the Microsoft HoloLens in order to get a better feel for what mixed reality is trying to be. Uh, one more lesser known point on the reality virtuality continuum is augmented virtuality, um, which is kind of the inverse of augmented reality in that you have physical objects projected onto a virtual environment. Um, this I couldn't really find any good examples of. I don't know if that's a sign of there being less useful applications for this or if it's just something that people haven't explored much, but it is another point to consider when thinking about the continuum of virtuality. 
And there goes our extremely brief overview of VR, MR, and AR. Hopefully you have a better idea of the sort of spectrum of realities that can exist. And uh, one thing that we didn't go over very much here were the different types of devices that you can use to consume uh, these types of reality. So uh, we kind of went over the Pokemon Go example using a phone, but what most people think of when they think of VR, MR, and AR are actually head-mounted displays such as the HTC Vive or the Microsoft HoloLens that we used in the example of mixed reality. Be on the lookout for more videos about those devices and the differences and advantages between them as well as news about uh, new ones coming out and uh, any sort of updates that are going on in that arena. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Uh, by the way, it's probably up on this channel by the time that you watch or listen to this video, but the Synthetic Native podcast is premiering. We're dropping the first episode. It will be up on YouTube as well as all of your favorite podcasting sources. So uh, please check that out. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there's any type of content that you'd like to see. Um, yeah, thank you so much.